please be aware of the different travel rules depending on the type of passenger. I'm also going to discuss in this video on how to extend your visa if you are staying in the Philippines beyond 30 days. And also there is a strict requirement of a return or onward ticket. So please make sure that you comply with these immigration entry requirements. Foreigners under EO408 do not need a visa. In addition, you must have a passport valid for at least six months at the time of your arrival in the Philippines. Also, you must have a return or onward ticket. The requirement is that your return or onward ticket must be within 30 days for non-visa required countries under Executive Order Number 408. Also, you must not be a restricted, blacklisted, or considered excluded alien by the Bureau of Immigration. Here is an illustration for foreign nationals. For foreign tourists, there are two classifications, visa-free under EO408 and visa required. These are countries not included under EO or Executive Order Number 408. So visa-free privileges. 30 days and 9A visa will be 59 days single entry visa. Other classifications of foreign nationals, former Filipino citizens, also foreign spouse and there are different requirements if they are traveling with Filipino or former Filipino or if they are traveling alone they will be treated as a foreign tourist. Also there are foreign children traveling with Filipino or former Filipino parent. And other classification of foreign nationals are holders of valid visas. The first requirement is that you must have a U.S. passport that is valid for at least six months before the date of your travel. Meaning to say that the U.S. passport must not be expiring within the last six months before the date of your travel. Your passport must be more than six months or at least six months before traveling to the Philippines. The second requirement is that you must not be blacklisted, restricted, or considered as an excluded alien when traveling to the Philippines. There are specific grounds to be blacklisted or to be restricted as an alien. The third requirement is that you must register for e-travel within 72 hours prior to departure from the country of origin. There was a memorandum from the Bureau of Immigration that you must register for e-travel. There was a press release from the Bureau of Immigration stating that e-travel registration is free of charge. Also, the Bureau of Immigration is warning the traveling public against scammers who operate websites that charge and collect fees as payments for registering in the government's electronic travel declaration system known as e-travel. Now, who needs to register for e-travel? All family members must register separately for e-travel. Now, the purpose of e-travel is to secure the barcode for express lane purposes. E-travel is a Philippine declaration system and it must be done online. The purpose is to generate a barcode or a QR code for express lane purposes. All passengers to the Philippines must register through the e-travel within 72 hours prior to departure from the country of origin. You can either be a Philippine passport holder or a foreign passport holder. Once everything has been submitted, you will be able to get a barcode this means even minor children must have a registration for e-travel even though some passengers claim that the e-travel registration was not checked when they arrived in the philippines there is a requirement that all passengers going to the philippines must register for e-travel also the e-travel registration is free of charge the purpose is to generate a barcode. You must type in etravel.gov.ph and create your own account. Make sure that you create a strong password. Step one is the onboarding or you must enter your personal information, take a selfie or upload a recent photo. 
and then you must provide your travel details so i'm just showing to you what it looks like when you are filling out personal information in the e-travel system once you have entered all the information you can now check your summary this is the new travel declaration summary make sure that the information is correct before submission once you have submitted successfully you will be able to generate a barcode and there is no need to show your qr code because the e-travel system is already integrated with the philippine immigration or other philippine government agencies you must register for e-travel within 72 hours prior to departure from the country of origin so you have three days before your flight to register for e-travel please take note that e-travel registration is free of charge the fourth requirement is that some passengers will be required to present a return or onward ticket so what if you have booked your flight for two months the requirement is that you must have a return ticket not later than 30 days from the date of your travel so you must rebook your flight this means your last day in the philippines must not be later than 30 days and you can just extend your visa before the expiration of 30 days return or onward ticket not later than 30 days for foreign tourists or foreign spouse traveling alone also for those applying for an srrv or retirees visa going to philippines you must still have a return ticket if you are planning to apply for that visa you can always extend any time before the expiration of the period no return or onward ticket for former Filipinos and no return or onward ticket for foreign spouse or foreign child traveling with Filipino or former Filipino. Now there is a requirement of a PSA issued birth certificate or old or valid Philippine passport for former Filipino citizens. Philippine passport or authentic PSA issued birth certificate for former Filipino citizens and also authentic marriage certificate for foreign spouse and birth certificate for foreign child will be required to avail of Philippine visa privilege of one year stay in the Philippines. The last requirement is the online customs declaration form for passengers arriving at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport Terminal 1. Although you have the option of filling out a paper customs declaration form you must fill out the online customs declaration form if you are a passenger arriving at terminal one some bureau of customs personnel may not ask you for this customs declaration you are still required to fill out the customs declaration form because there might be items that you must declare. now let's talk about the visa extension there is an option of an online tourist visa extension that you can use and this was rolled out by the bureau of immigration and is called the e-services you must create an account so you can extend your tourist visa online you can also visit the nearest bureau of immigration for your visa extension and you must pay the fees and fines if you overstay First scenario before expiration of visa for non-visa required or visa required you only need to pay the fees and you need to do it before expiration however if after the expiration of visa for non-visa required or visa required you must pay the fines pay the fees including arrears also you must secure the necessary clearance for you to stay in the philippines for all visa required or non-visa required entry can you extend the visa and pay the extension fee before arrival in the Philippines? The answer is no. You must visit the nearest Bureau of Immigration office to pay and extend your visa. There is a new update if you are going to extend your tourist visa. 
and you can now do it online. This is called the new e-services by the Bureau of Immigration. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you guys for supporting my channel. And if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.